this is Mark Remke with Ninja Training TV and this is the first video that I'm making since my knee operation so I'm stoked I got a brand new knee and I'm about a month and a half into it and what I wanted to do is show you guys that injuries happen in life and surgeries happen and life happens but you don't give up you keep going and you keep training so I can't bend my knee more than 90 degrees right now so I'm gonna have to modify how I start to do my movements, but I'm not gonna give up because if, you, if I go to the mall or somewhere to go buy groceries or something and all of a sudden I'm attacked, I'm gonna have to fight. I'm gonna have to deal with it. And unfortunately that stuff happens. And people prey on people that are, you know, having disabilities and things like that. It's, it's sad, but it does happen. So let's go over some concepts. I might not be able to take huge movements now, so I might need to know how to do evasions better and give myself a little bit of time. So depending on how your mobility is or what your situation is, maybe you're in a limited space, this might help you guys out. So there's a lot of bobbing and weaving that boxing people do to get away from punches. And there's good ways to do that and there's bad ways to do it. So let's go over the bad way to do it first. If I go like this with my body to get away from a punch, I'm compromising my spine and I'm compromising my ability to move quickly or to do something off of this because I've taken away my power. But if I bend into my knees a little bit and I move my head with a bob, I'm coiled up and I'm still ready to come back and do something about it and I can still move quickly from here if I need to. So I'm a moving target. A moving target's harder to hit than somebody that's moving like this and you're they're still gonna hit through maybe that center line. So let's do the wrong way to get out of the way at first. If Kyle's throwing, let's say we're doing a controlled punch for a, um, a nice training exercise first and he throws the punch and I go like this. Now, I don't have the ability to generate power. If he throws a second punch after that first one, I'm really in trouble because I have to rewrite myself first and then try to move again from there. So if I do the other one where I bob and weave, I can unload in here and start to do some things because I'm coiled. He might be throwing that second punch and then I might have to bob again and take it into some other direction and move with it. So. This bobbing and weaving is a simple exercise. You keep your hands up just in case the hit comes into your face and you have something to deflect it a little bit and you get into your knees and you bend as much as you can just like that. Don't go like this. Don't go backwards like this. You're just off balancing yourself. And then you're coiled for a second way to move. So then let's get into a second invasion. What I wanna to try to do, keep my back up and down straight and use my feet. Just simply step off. If a second punch comes in, simply step again. So I'm moving and I'm retreating, but I'm not just backpedaling. If I backpedal, first one will be okay. By the second and third, he's gonna catch up to me. So I'm gonna have troubles. So I want to zigzag. I wanna get out of the way one way, maybe another way again. And then I can either hit, strike, or get into a grapple mode and we can take it from there. So those are two really quick concepts for you of evasion and that is bobbing and weaving instead of moving off to the side in the wrong direction and then using your feet and taking off angles to move and maybe even one or two of those instead of just backing up in the fight and trying to fight while backpedaling. That won't work out for you good and it's tried and true. You could see a lot of videos online where people just try to fight that way and they eventually just fall over and the person catches up to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's so good to be back. If you'd like to know more, follow our comments below and you'll know where to go. And as always, keep training.